Hey everyone, welcome back to Coded Row. In this video, we're gonna be going over how to make armor pieces that you can attach to your body. I've seen this question come up quite a lot on how to make body pieces and also how to make new slots for your character to equip. So the first thing I'm gonna do is for this project, I'm gonna be using the modular asset pack provided by Cinti. And this is a pack by Cinti Studios, which provides a character that comes with a ton of different pieces that you can just set together. As you're seeing now, they come in different sets and you can also mix and match the pieces. And you'll see that the pieces have a ton of different stuff such as lower arm, upper arm, shoulder, head, chest, elbows, hip, hands, and weapons. So the first thing I'm gonna do is head over to the link in the description below, which says T channel equal TC Mave at the end. And he has this UE5 Cinti Polygon retarget assets with the project included, where you, you should subscribe, donate to his PayPal, and click on this Google Drive link in order to open this drive file which you're gonna download this ue 5 Cinti rig.rar. And once you open that folder and migrate it to the project you're working in, you're gonna have this Cinti folder called ABP Cinti, IK Retargeter, and so on. So I'll just open up ABP Cinti. And this is only relevant if you're using the Cinti modular pack. And you'll see that the retarget post from mesh is connected to our output post. And I basically just want all my Cinti assets to use this SK Cinti polygon Unreal. So when you open that modular characters folder, you're gonna see this SK character base mesh which all the pieces are tied to, to use the skeleton. I'm just gonna right click on this, click on skeleton and hit assign skeleton. And I'm gonna select that IK retargeter one, which is called the SK Cinti Polygon Unreal. Hit accept and hit control shift save to save all. And now I can actually start using this as my canvas in order to play around with my skeleton. And now in my ACF ultimate character or your full sample character, whichever one, because both versions of ACF works, whether it's ultimate or full sample, you'll go down to your skeletal mesh and then add a skeletal mesh that's parented to this one using the SKM Mani with the ACF Humanoid ABP. Just hit add under components and add a skeletal mesh if you need to. But if it's already included, then you can click skeletal mesh, change this to the base character mesh and apply that anim class that we have in our folder that we got from TC Mate. So that is this ABP Cinti, which is just the retargeting. And now we can actually start getting some equipment for this character. And now let's get into how to assign equipment to this character. So over here, you'll see this ACF equipment in inventory component, and you're gonna see quite a few available equipment slots here. So there's item slot dot melee weapon, range weapon, left hand weapon, and so on. We have a helmet, legs, shoulders, cape. So first I'm gonna set up the helmet. So we're using item slot dot armor dot helmet. So what I'm gonna do is just head over to my modular characters folder. I'm gonna create a new folder. And I'm going to call this um, ACF Equipables. And one of the great things about the Cinti modular pack is it comes with both static pieces, which is what we'll need to refer to our world mesh. And the modular parts has all the skeletal mesh. The naming convention is pretty hard. And the amount of pieces there are does make it a little hard because it says 14, 15 items. And that's including the physics assets. But no worries. We'll just, um, we'll just try to work with what we have. There's also back attachments separately here in their skeletal and static mesh or just skeletal mesh. And we have weapons, the skeletal mesh of weapons. So we got shields, weapons, and so on. And static meshes here of the shields and weapons as well. First thing I'm gonna do is go into that ACF equipables, right click, select blueprint class, and look for an ACF armor. And I'm gonna click on this armor and select this to create that child class. And I'm actually gonna name it based off of whatever one we're doing first. So I'm just gonna look for a cool looking headpiece. So I like this one which is the head no elements male five static, which is a pretty hefty name. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back to my module characters folder equipable and name this blueprint to something like ACF underscore and then the name of that equipment. Actually, I'll just call it helmet underscore 05 because that is a very long name. I'll double click to open this up and now we're gonna want to set a few things. So first we're gonna wanna set that skeletal mesh and when I get rid of that static at the end, I'll find it here. And I can set that as my skeletal mesh asset, which is really important. And then I'll scroll down. And now under this ACF tag, we're gonna see it say item with item info and equipable. So in the equipable, we can add an equip sound whenever we do equip this. And it's also totally fine is something that I've noticed is to use these heavy armor run sounds to sound like it's getting equipped. So you might be able to hear it. It doesn't sound too bad. So I'll just do something like this to equip it. We can also add some attribute modifiers or attribute requirements in order to wear this piece of gear. Add a thumbnail for this. We can also scale the thumbnail using the scale button. And I'll just call this helmet underscore or helmet 05 for the name. Description will also be 
helmet 05 in caps we can do inventory stacks and i'll also set that world mesh to the static mesh of this this so when we drop it to the world it will just look like this helmet instead of that old looking bag that's defaulted to acf and now for the item slot so this is pretty much going to determine where on our character this is going to go so if i go back to my acf character you're going to see that the available equipment slot we do have a item slot dot armor dot helmet so i just want to assign that here so I'm just going to search for helmet and you'll see that the item slot dot armor dot helmet already shows up when I select the check mark next to the helmet. So I'll click away to ensure that's the case and I'll just hit compile and save. And now you're going to see that this is just an armor class. So if I were to drag this into the world, my character wouldn't actually be able to pick this up or even see it in the world for that matter. And that's because it's just a floating blueprint class of a skeletal mesh. So what we need to do is create that ACF world item BP in order for us to see it in the world, pick it up and store this as a data. Because in ACF, we don't actually store everything as the mesh itself because that would become very heavy. So we store the class of it that contains this actor so it just has the data. And this is why ACF is very optimized and performant friendly and it helps us with replication. So I'll right click on this and I'll create another folder and I'm just going to call this world drops, double click to go in here. And now I'm just going to right click, select blueprint, uh, select blueprint class and call or look for ACF world item BP. And I'll hit select and call this helmet 05 drop and double click to open this up. And now the first thing I'm going to do is change that static mesh. I'm going to change the static mesh to that helmet 05 just because I want it to just kind of look like this in the world. I will raise it up a little. I'm not sure why it's in the ground, but that's just Unreal Engine stuff. Nothing to do with ACF. And now in the storage component, I'll click on this and you'll see under ACF, there's an items tab. You can also see the currency amount in case we wanted to sell this, drop currency owner on death and currency variation and so on. So for the item, I'm just gonna click this plus mark and open this up. And the item class we're gonna select is this ACF helmet 05 that we created. So I'm gonna look for that ACF helmet 05 and now I can click compile and save. And now you'll see that when I drop this droppable item into the world and hit play, my character will be able to see it and you can see that I can interact with it. So because it's named helmet 05, you'll see on the right side that I can interact with helmet 05 and the X one just means how many I'm picking up. And when I click E, it's automatically placed on my helmet because the Sinti polygon modular assets are already made to be with these skeletons because of the skeleton data itself too. So now let's finish these up and let me add something that goes on top of my helmet to show you guys how to add certain item slots. So let's say I want to add something on top of my helmet. So Sinti has these assets that'll give us some helmet attachments. And these are these little feather things that go right on top of the helmet. And I think they look pretty cool. So let's go ahead and make a slot for this. So ACF doesn't come with this natively because of course that's a very unique or niche thing. So we're just going to create this equipment slot available. So I'm just going to click on this plus sign to add an item to my array of equipment slots. And I'm going to create a tag. So I'm going to look for item slot dot armor. And now these don't fit my needs. So all I need to do is go to the right side of armor and add a sub tag. And when I add a sub tag, I'm also going to select the default gameplay tag dot INI for the source, just to know that this is where we're set. This is where we're going to save that tag to. So for the item slot dot armor, I'm going to call this like head I'm going to call this arm, item slot dot armor dot head attachment and I'll click add new tag and select this. and this will be saved as an item. So now when I assign an item and equip it, I'll be able to equip this onto my character. So now let's turn this into an actual armor piece. So I'll go back to my character, go to my modular characters folder, go to ACF equipables. And now over here, I'll right click blueprint class, look for ACF armor and hit select. And I'm going to call this, so let's see, this is a uh, helmet attachment 05. So I'm going to call this ACF underscore helmet attachment underscore 05. And I'll double click to open this up. And for the skeletal mesh, I'm just going to look for that same item. And since I copy paste the name, all I need to do is get rid of that static at the end. And now I'll scroll down until I see that ACF tag. And now under ACF, I'll add some sort of, actually, I won't add an equip sound for this stuff, but under item info, I can do helm attach 05 and then the description will also be the helmet attachment and for the names when you do take your game more seriously i recommend changing all the names to something more unique just because this is the name that the players will see when they pick it up and the world mesh also like the static mesh version of this 
it's droppable. And now under item slots, I'm going to select that new tag that we created. So under item slot dot armor, I'm going to select that head attachment and hit compile and save. And let's say you don't want your drop to be so modular. So for example, if you don't want to separate every helmet from every head attachment in this case, I wouldn't, I can just go over to my helmet 05 drop. And now next to the items in that array element, I can just click add, drop this index down and add an item class called ACF helmet attachment 05 that we created. So now when I compile and save, it's going to look like just this for now. But what you can do is just add a static mesh just like that. And I'll go ahead and add this and just place it a little properly so the character knows what they're getting. So I'll just leave it here for now. And if I were to go over to my map, you'll see that it's updated and it shows that static mesh. And when my character goes over to this and picks it up, it's going to pick up with both items attached in here. And this makes it good because Cinti has separated the left elbows and right elbows left legs and right legs. And if you want to make your game a little more simple where you can't mix and match every single piece of shoe, knee pad, elbow pad, shoulder, and so on, um, you can just combine them into one dropped item like so. And then your character will just pick up that entire set if you wanted to, or just that piece of gear. So it is really modular and I do love how Cinti did that. And now this is very tedious, but I am going to be doing this for every Cinti, every part of my body, just until I get a full covered person. And now I've gone through every single armor piece and added it onto my character. And this is what I look like. Hope you learned a thing or two about how to create armor sets and so on. Thanks for watching Code of Throw. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.